Good evening, everybody on YouTube. This is Rusty at Possum Bayou. This here is going to be a video. It's a CSX train. I was actually out, headed out to east of town here to get some pictures and some video to do another, you know, to get some stuff to make a few videos, kind of like a series of videos with some rail fan type videos. And on the way out there, I saw a train coming in town. I'm like, well, coming to town. I'm like, wait. I turned around, came back, and had to fight traffic lights to get there and finally get some footage of the train. I had to relocate once in the middle of it to get the final scenes. It's a pretty decent video. Just give you a little bit of a view of kind of how the trains run through here, kind of like the landscaping. Now on to the video. <laughs> Try to catch a different shot here in a minute. Get my truck head over. Got caught by a bunch of red lights, so I couldn't catch it where I wanted to. Well, as you see in there, I had to catch up with the train last minute. Had to jump out with my phone. wasn't enough time to get my little camera going. So now I head down to the river to catch it going over the bridge. I'm going to give you a quick view of the riverfront here. But you don't have to, me, even though it's a river, this is brackish water, so the creepy crawly reptiles aren't around. Hey, we're probably not a half a mile where this thing empties out in the Gulf of Mexico anyway. Couple of shrimp boats tied up. Some folks going out and join the evening. You got a little tugboat, little place for tugboats tied, but it's also a place that builds tugboats. As you see, the train was going over the river, and after it left, I turned off the camera and was headed back to my truck. 
and I heard the horn blow for the bridge. And I was like, oh man, I could have caught that on the video. Then I realized the horn was saying that the bridge was being raised. That's what that meant. So I ran back down the waterfront and captured this upcoming footage. They did back to my truck and I actually realized when they, they blew the horn on this thing, they were lifting it up. Neat little thing to catch. It's got a loud, like a air horn on it. It starts, it blows it a couple times whenever it or go. See the boats, it's low enough to the water that they notice how low the land is to the water here too. Don't have that 30 or 40 foot drop. Do, they do some old platform refurbishing here too. And if they're not using them, the city makes a little, little bit of coin off of them to be tied up here. So. Interesting train thing to catch. I didn't think about them lifting it up. Actually, it's not too bad today. Well, this is kind of in the morning, so. Hope I don't get jiggers walking out in these stupid weeds. That's usually what happens. My legs are all starting to itch just thinking about it. There's the keeper coming out. He's a CSX employee, I believe. They keep that going on. Well, there it is in its upright position. By looking at those tugboats, you can see why we have that little drawbridge right there. There's more industry to the north, which is that direction that needs those tugboats. They need this drawbridge to be open and closed, too. All right, well, I'll sign this one off. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was a nice little chasing trains type of thing. It was a little bit of effort going through town trying to get through some of the red lights and stop signs and stuff but I, I didn't run anything but i i was able to get there capture the train then run down and hit to the river so if you liked the video hit like and if you haven't subscribed subscribe and you can share the video if you like i have some a series of videos coming up of some railroad stuff around the area and I also got one of a family vacation a little road trip I took so keep an eye out for videos coming up <music>